Hello YouTube, it's Dorian here. First of all, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. I know it's been over a week, but I've uh, been busy, did a lot of traveling, and uh, back now I've got another week till I go back to work, so I'm just going to sit back and relax and hopefully pump out a couple of videos here for you guys. Uh, so I'm back here with OpenSUSE. Uh, I did a little bit of poking around with uh, my other videos using tumbleweed, but I had a couple of issues. Um, the issues that I had was with Yast, and I got a bit of a love-hate thing going on here, but anyways, if, if you're not aware, what I was using before is tumbleweed, and what I've installed now is Leap. So the difference is, um, like in my videos, rolling releases versus, versus fixed releases. Uh, Tumbleweed's a rolling release, which means software is constantly coming to your system uh, nonstop, and Leap is a fixed release where it comes out every X months. Um, you'll, you'll get a whole new version, similar to uh, Ubuntu, their long-term releases, their LTS releases. So yeah, Tumbleweed, gave me some problems, I'm not sure why, um, but it was with, my main issue was with Yast freezing up whenever I tried to open anything. So Yast is yet another system tool, I believe that's what it stands for. Um, it's, it's a nice control panel that has a lot of things here, um, especially if you're gonna play around with running a server or anything. It has all this stuff laid out. Most stuff the average user probably won't play with. So just, you know, updates, software management, maybe your bootloader, uh, maybe network settings, um, and then Snapper down here. I'll get to Snapper and BTRFS in a second. Um, so part of the problem was when I would click on these things in Tumbleweed, my system would just completely lock up and I reinstalled it, it happened on a couple more machines and it was really irritating um, so I vented a bit on Twitter and Richard Brown who's the uh, chairman of the board for OpenSUSE actually called me out uh, when I was complaining and asked me to link my bug report uh, of course, I didn't file a bug report, so I went back and he was nice enough to tell me the scripts to use and whatnot, so I actually went and I, I filed a bug, as you should. Um, but I'm, I'm not one for filing bugs. I know it's bad. I do sometimes, but... Um, my whole purpose here is for finding cool things for the intermediate Linux user. Uh, not to say that even a newbie can't file bugs, you can, um, but I'm just looking for something that works. I'm not trying to spend too much time fixing stuff. As a system administrator, I all day long I'm fixing computers and fixing systems and troubleshooting. So when I come home, I just want to use my system, right? So that was my bad. I did file the bug report. I did get rid of Tumbleweed because I installed Leap alongside. This is actually installed on hardware. This is not a virtual machine. Um, yeah, so I filed the bug report and uh, I got asked to post a couple extra things, which I did. Um, all the information that I could and then I deleted Tumbleweed and now I'm trying out Leap. Um, so Yast in Leap is working great for me. There are no major issues. Uh, the one issue that I had was installing um, my NVIDIA drivers because I have the dual video card and um, it didn't work as well as I was hoping. Um, this page here is great. I used this page for Tumbleweed 
and went through and followed the instructions and I was able to get my system working in Tumbleweed. I followed the same instructions and this, this page has uh, separate sections for Leap and Tumbleweed. It's a leap, do this, Tumbleweed, do this, right? So I did follow the instructions and I tried to fix it. It wouldn't work. I couldn't get my NVIDIA working. I tried to install just NVIDIA by itself without Optimus. That didn't work. So I said, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to play with that anymore. Um, my NVIDIA drivers are working in Ubuntu, which is my main distro. So I'll just use that. Um, but going back to Yast, um, that's one cool thing when my system wouldn't work. Um, when you go into the Grub menu for OpenSUSE and you go to Advanced Options, you can load from a different snapshot. So OpenSUSE uses BTRFS, which has built-in snapshots, and you can access them in Yast here by going to Snapper. And I've found that as time goes on, it, it opens quickly because I opened it before, but as time goes on, you have more and more snapshots. Um, I find that this took a while to open. I thought my system locked up, but it was just taking a long time to open this up. So what this does is it's creating mini snapshots of your system. Um, BTRFS is hard to explain. It's not like incremental backups, but it kind of is. What it does is it creates sub volumes within your volumes. So within your hard drive, there's sub drives or sub partitions, I guess. Um, but what it does is when it creates a sub volume, it's taking everything that already exists and reusing that and then the new sub volume only has changes. So I guess it's sort of like a differential backup. Um, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, just erase everything. So you could see here, um, before NVIDIA, this snapshot that I took here, I did it manually. You do create and then you just give it a name and it'll do snapshot. And this was when I was installing the NVIDIA drivers, which failed. Um, so you can see it does before and after uh, comparisons and you can click show changes and it'll show you the, the files that have changed and you can check them off or you can check them all and you can say restore files and it'll restore them. So my system wouldn't boot so I was able to get into um, the command line at least by hitting E on grub and just add a one at the end of the, the Linux line and it'll just bring you, it won't load the, the GUI, you'll just go into a root uh, terminal. Um, and then you're able to do uh, sudo snap or rollback. But this is after picking the, the snapshot to boot into, the, the working snapshot. And then you just roll back and you pick where you want to roll back to. Or you roll back to the one that you're in, sorry. so. It's, I'm, I'm definitely not versed in it. I'm still learning it. It's kind of neat. Um, but you have, to, you have to make sure you create snapshots before you do any major changes. It, it does come in handy. Um, and one, one problem that BTRFS uh, does present is my, <clears throat> my main bootloader is my Ubuntu one. So when I do an update grub, it will go and it'll find all my other systems, my other OSs that are on the system, my other distros, and I have Windows, and I have uh, a Fedora spin. It won't find OpenSUSE because it's PTRFS. It's looking for an ext4, I guess, or ext3. If I mount it beforehand, then it does find it. But even if I mount it and specify the sub volume, uh, it'll find it, but it won't boot into it. So I have to hit, as I'm booting up into my BIOS, I have to hit F11, pick the OpenSUSE bootloader, 
and then it'll boot in no problem but I can't you can't boot in uh, using grub from a non BTRFS system so like from the Ubuntu grub it just isn't working for me and uh, one thing with uh, I open this up here so you could see when you install OpenSUSE and it creates all its different parts for all the, all its different sub volumes it creates a ton of them so when you're looking at your file systems to look at your your space you see all these mounted sub volumes individually I'm sure there's a way to filter it out I haven't found it yet um, but I don't I don't like it. I don't like having a whole ton of them here. I mean, I have enough. I have enough partitions on my system as it is, so I don't want to see all this. But minor thing, minor thing. So yeah, that is where I'm at now. Um, I'm giving it another chance. I really do like OpenSUSE. I like. Um, I like their control center and by the way if you end up in a console terminal situation a non GUI situation um, by adding a 1 or a 3 to the end of your Linux line when you're booting up in grub um, you can still access YAST without a GUI and you end up with this which is basically the same thing that I just had open it's just it'll run in a terminal so I can go down here and I can go to snapper and it'll load up all my snapshots so it's cool because you don't have to type everything you don't have to do command line everything so big huge bonus for that um, like you can go in you can edit your bootloader settings so this this will run without a GUI, without GNOME, without anything. So if your system completely crashes, just go in, put a one at the end of your your uh, your Linux line, and uh, open up Yast and fix everything. You can go back to an old snapshot, you can change your settings, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So that's what I got for now. I'm uh, re-exploring OpenSUSE and I've got a little surprise if you follow me on Twitter something that I'm working on and uh, if you follow me on Twitter or you subscribe to me on YouTube you'll see what this is I might uh, I might come out with a little video this week and maybe leak a bit more information about it but it's something that people have been requesting from me for a while so uh, yeah surprises all right well that's it for now till next time thanks for watching